Now, when I do the run up, I, I wasn't sure about this last time. Do I want to turn the fuel pump back off? Yeah, okay. We want to ascertain where the mechanical pump is operating. Okay, that's what I figured when I did a solo one. I think uh, Piers might do the left turn there. Is it okay if I just wait for uh, position in the run up bay? Hi, sir. Thank you, uniform of it. They're doing the same thing, they're warming up their engines before they can even do the run-ups. Yeah, well that, that works I guess. Now, we don't do a ready call here, which means... Be clear you to Alpha 8. No, I, no, I understand, but um, let's say that uh, I was ready. It's just whoever gets out there first. Right. Right. Okay. But, I shouldn't do what he just did, right? Like, uh, do I want to wait till the holding point is clear? Or, uh, I guess it's so far down there, that's fine to, to have two of them pull out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Holding point, Bravo 5, Zulu, Fox Road, x -ray. Cherokee Indian Bravo uniform, ready in the run up bay. Holding from Bravo 5, runway 29 left, India Bravo uniform. I don't want to like give it more power to warm it up faster or anything, do I? Give it a, about a thousand, eleven hundred. Yeah, that, that's good. That's a problem with an air cold engine. When it's cold, yeah, it takes it's well cooled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are going to climb to a thousand and maintain a thousand until we hit three miles. Then we uh, climb again to twenty uh, under twenty five hundred, uh, and we squawk one two zero zero. Then at the telecom mast or uh, M seven, um, we dial in one two four five five. Helicopter Sierra Uniform Alpha and Manpad request taxi uh, to helicopter to Bankstar helicopter. Sierra Uniform Alpha ground taxi via the apron then to Echo. Taxi via the apron Echo Sierra Uniform Alpha. Any ground Sierra Uniform Alpha request to radio check. Sierra Uniform Alpha got your fives. Sierra Uniform thanks.
Which one of these is more likely to be correct? The electronic one? Well, the compass is always the more correct. Okay. Because that's basically slaving off that. Oh, is that right? Okay. But they do disagree at the moment. Yeah. A little bit. You'll get that. Okay. That's an electronic flux gate compass. That's a magnet compass. Okay. Uh, this one seems sticky, you know? Well, it's going to move around quite a bit because it's floating in alcohol. Yeah, right. So, and it's on a gimbal mount. Okay. So, any movements will just root the front. Uh, but when, it, when you're stationary, yeah. or when you're not accelerating, yeah. it's fairly accurate. Okay. Taxi to the base, didn't report ready. Taxi to the base, didn't report ready. Alright, does that seem 40 from your angle? Yep, that's All right. pretty good. Let's call that 40. Alright, yeah, throttles at 1100, oil temperature is 40. Very rich. Good. Taking it over ground, taxi item point Alpha 8, runway 2 9 run. Uh, cleared to holding point Alpha 8. Fuel pressure is right. green. Fuel pressure 28.6. Bolt meter is green, no suction meter in this one. The only thing we were lacking was the fuel pump from this one. Bravo 6, runway 2, 9, center. Okay, shall we? Bravo 6, runway 2, 9, center. Romeo Kilo Lima. Thanks, Sun Crown. Romeo Foxtrot, November. Simon Duo. If we're in Charlie, run a taxi with Lima. Request taxi. Upwind departure. Taxi holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right. Holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right. Romeo, Fox Road, November. Cessna 152, Mark Alpha Quebec is on mic, request taxi for circuits. Mark Alpha Quebec, ground taxi Alpha and Bravo to the run-up bay, report run-ups complete. Taxi Alpha and Bravo to the run-up bay, Mark Alpha Quebec. Aren't you lucky you don't have to go in the circuit this morning, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. I think I am lucky. <laughs> Especially when you look at the traffic that's in there this morning. Yeah. This person looks like they're just falling. Fox that 8094, ready in the bay, four seconds. Fox that 8094, taxi to holding point Bravo 5, runway 29 left. Taxi holding point Bravo 5, runway 29 left, Fox that 8094. Transponder, alt, lights, anti to set. Um, one, I'm going to spot frequencies. Dial up one, two, four, five, five. Yeah, now. that's a good idea. Let's check is this. Thanks, Sun Tower. Robin, India, Romeo, November is ready at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right for an upwind departure. Clear for takeoff, runway right, in here, Romeo, November. Echo Yankee Delta, here's Choppers North. Um, Echo Yankee Delta, draw and report base, Western Pads. Report base for the Western Pads. Echo Yankee Delta. Uh, correction, Echo Yankee Delta, request uh, full stop main pad. Echo Yankee Delta, Roger, join base for the main pad. Base for the main pad, Echo Yankee Delta. Speeds indicating temperatures and pressures look good. Oh, you know.
nose. That's better. Yep, it accelerates better. I guess that's what I'm confused about. It's in your one o'clock at about the mile and a half. Okay. <laughs> All right. Still seat, sir. All right. I, I had it backwards. The, the transponder is beyond the, the railway line. The, uh, the radio is beyond the mast. Okay. You saw in that procedure, aviate, navigate, communicate. We identify when we can climb, and it's important you do that. Yeah, of okay. course, and not get it wrong, because otherwise, um, yeah. They will see us because they have got a yeah, radar. There's the mast, see? There's the mast, alright. See how long it's taken us? It has taken a while, alright. I thought it was quicker than that. <laughs> it's been five months. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Johnny Kello, Lima, Tower Runway 29 Centre, clear for takeoff. Yeah. 29 Centre, clear for takeoff, Ray Lincoln, anyway. There's the pipeline. No. Is it? Yep, that's the pipeline. I'm going to fly along that going towards the west. Okay. So there's the pipeline. Yep. Okay, clear, right? Clear centre. Clear left. And runway. Now this means we ought to change this, right? Yep. Now I should see St. Mary's. There's St. Mary's. Yeah, you can see it. Yep. Yeah. Which means the explosive depot is uh, just across the pipeline? Yep. Okay. So at the moment we're heading for it. I assume you're going to go left of it. Suburbia ends pretty much yeah. just there. Yeah, it's a bit over here too. What? Well, what is this out here? What, what town? What so, suburb? Oh, this is pretty much St. Mary's, that area okay. there. St. Mary's, yeah. Now, are there any markings on the, on the explosive depot, or you just know that it's by the airstrip? I'll show you. Let yeah. me get closer. You can see how much we're travelling, we're still not able to climb up. Not that we're going to, yeah. but in terms of climbing to 4,000, you can't until you get to this lake. You see the Tadpole Lake there? Uh, I see several, oh, that, the bigger one there. Yeah. Oh, the Tadpole Shape, yeah, right. Yeah. Once we pass that, in the distance you can see the old Shape Lake at about 10 o'clock, about 5 miles away. You see the, where yep. the white green paddocks are? Yep. Okay, that's the old Shape Lake, because don't forget it's an arc. It's not yep. a straight line. Yep. Okay, so Tapo Lake on this side. Yeah. yeah. And you can see there's some sheds, big long sheds, they're white. They're orientated east-west. You see over there? Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, they're chicken sheds. Chicken sheds. Oh, okay. That's what's represented here. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Okay. So they're beyond the, uh, they're beyond the arc? Yep. Okay. All Which right. means we should be able to climb about now if we want, right? So down here? Yep. That's the explosive depot. You can see right in the middle there, that tree area, there's a circular area. That's where they do the de demolition. Oh, okay. There's a little yellow signage about every hundred meters. Okay, yeah. That's where they blow up ordnance. Okay, so don't don't fly over that. Yeah, they usually send up a signal flare which is pink. It's very hard to miss. Okay. Um, <laughs> and that so goes up to 4,000. It's, it's the cleared area that you're not supposed to uh, pass. Is that right? That's right. Okay. You can see the bunkers over there. That's where they store ammunition. Okay. Are oh, you allowed to fly over that? Uh, 1,500 feet the, the minimum height over that. Okay. And 4,000 for the uh, explosive area. Okay. So this is your northern boundary, mainly because of that, and you can see the Great Western Highway, which is running up there, yeah. just off the wingtip. That's your border from here to Richmond. Okay. Richmond airspace starts oh, uh, just that's, there. Uh, that's this one. Yeah. Okay. We come to the, uh, the northwestern corner, you've got Emu Plains. Sorry? We've got Emu Plains. That's the township, so hold it in this direction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that township this one. there. This one here is Malaysia. That's that one over there. Okay, so we are heading, we're about here heading this direction. Yeah, that's, that's Emu Plains. Okay. Uh, Romeo Foxtrot. There's the dam. 1436, no traffic. 1436 for Pyramia Foxtrot. And that's Penrith. Yep. 
as you can see, once you get beyond the river, you see how the area becomes heavily wooded. Yeah. Yeah. There's not really good opportunity to affect the horse landing unless you're really, really good and you've got your spots picked out when you're traversing it. Right. So that's why we don't, we don't go, go there yet. But okay. Yeah. No, but uh, we will eventually go over that. Yeah. Okay. And that's why Wallachia Township down there. Yeah. We're about here. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I mean by the first escarpment. You see how the ground level goes up? Yeah. Okay, so that's the border uh, for, for where we go currently. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Okay, clear right, clear center, clear left, around we go. We're heading south now. along the tree line about we'll pass over the river oh sorry we're not at the tree line there's no mode charlie if you could recycle it marks up the tree line here but this is not the tree line on the map is it because we're not yet beyond the dam but we're about here that's correct yeah on to 739 contact melbourne center 133 days small five dam looks pretty full yeah that big valley out the west, that's what feeds it, so that whole valley is full to that level. Oh, wow. Well. That goes all the way down to Mittagong, that's how big the storage is, that's Lake Burradurang, see? Yeah, right. Is this, where's the horse track, that's uh, the Mayfield horse track? 12 o'clock, two miles. Okay, is it the big cleared area? Yeah, okay. We got traffic at uh, 11.30 low. Good no traffic. Well, that's Wallachia. Oh, sorry, this is Warragamba Township. Okay. One two five stay four seven. One two five stay four seven. Papa Ramia Foxtrot. the L-shaped lake over there. Correct. Okay. The Camden Airport should be over there somewhere, but I'm not sure I see it. Burton, you're 11 o'clock, about four miles away. Oh. Okay. Is the runway oriented this way like it is on the map? Yeah, pretty much. Must be that cleared area over there. Yep. That's about four miles. Yeah. Radio check. Yeah, yeah. Good day, four. And uh, at this altitude, we could fly over it. Is that, is that correct? About 2,500. Yeah, 2,500. Okay. So when it says they've got the airspace from zero to 2,000, you want to be 500 above that. Okay. All oh, right. This is the horse track here. Yep. Okay. That's my. This area here is referred to as Mayfield. They do races there? Nicely training. Training. Because all us Aussies are oh, such gamblers. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny to me how much yeah. we bet on dogs, we bet on horses, yeah. we bet on boats, cars, you name it. Convict society. Oh my god. In America it's like casinos, you know, if you're gonna gamble. Not horse racing. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, but a casino is rigged. You guarantee. Oh yeah, I, I know. Mathematically, I know. it doesn't work. Yep. <laughs> oh, I, I, I agree. I'm not a big gambler personally. <laughs> All right. Well, here we're here now. Mayfield. So you see, 90 degrees to the left is the old shaped lake. Yep. So from that here. Yep. Turn your map. Yep. I just want to see it. How and we this saw is it your there. southwestern corner. Okay. Yep. So from yep. All right. So don't go beyond the racetrack to the L-shaped lake, that line. Yeah. Okay.
There's Hamden down there. The runway is 0624. So it's headed up towards the northeast. Yep, you can just see the hangars. Is it, is in it the, the runway on the, oh, the close part of the, of the cleared area? There. You can see hangars about mid mid um, area. Yep. Okay. And the taxiway is going that way. Oh, it's going that way. All right. The road is this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's not a big airport, is it? No, nah, but it's only got well, I'm ready. Two runways and a gliding strip. So. Okay. It's big enough. Big enough. Yep. You've got plenty of areas to land if you engine quit. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's plenty of areas all over. <laughs> Better at the airport, obviously. Yeah, this area around here is called Coppity. Oh, what? Sorry? Coppity. Coppity. C-O-B-B-I-T-Y. What does that mean? Coppity. Uh, it's some English name, but that's what they call it. Okay. Oh, oh it's, uh, uh, the, it's the name of the town. I, I, sorry, I thought you meant it was an adjective, uh, like uh, the type of ground or something. No, that's just the, the suburb there. Okay, Coppity. I didn't know that one. All right. Coppity. Coppity. Okay. And this area we're starting to get into now is um, Green Jelly, this area here. Oscar Mike Golf, we're now visual Wollongong, can we cancel that please? Oscar Mike Golf, Well, that new development over there is, used to be called Oram Park, because there used to be a racetrack there, that's yeah. why I used to race cars. Oh yeah. Not anymore. No. And that's the Brinjelly Brickworks down there. By uh, the, the industrial bit here. Yeah, you can see the bricks. Yep. And yeah, my dad spends about $100,000 with them every year. For, for uh, construction materials. For bricks, yeah. <laughs> so this L-shaped lake is not natural, is it? it? It looks like it's a reservoir or something? Correct. There's dairy farmers here. Overhead Richmond, track to November, Bravo, Romeo, flight plan route. It's Motor, November, Bravo, Romeo, Japan, 772. Okay, so this is your southeastern corner. Yep. So now I'm going to turn onto a northerly heading and fly along the arc. And, and climb along the arc, is that what you said? Oh, oh, oh the arc, and fly yeah, along the arc. arc. This arc, yeah. So those chicken sheds are 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, about two miles away. Oh, yeah, there they are. You see the road going past the brickworks and it goes into a five-way intersection there? Yep. Down there? Yep. It's got a double, yep, double freeway now. There's a road here which goes all the way into 2RN. Okay. And if you look down here, you see it's got a very distinctive kink? Uh, yes. Like an S bend. That's, so that's the only road that goes all the way to 2RN. Okay. You can, you can see banks stand in the distance that light green amongst the dark. Off the wingtip. Off the wingtip. Uh, yep. No, yep. Okay. Right. 185 That makes sense, yeah. Yep. So that's that road there. That's that road. Yep. 240 dollar. There are the chicken. Wait, hang on. They're oriented the wrong way, aren't? They? Where's where's the chicken coop? It's it's right up there off the nose. Yep. Okay. They're just we're flying this way. They're oriented. Oh, uh, flying an arc along yeah. the arc. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, got them the other way here. I see. Okay. Yeah, I see them. What are you, what are you doing there? You're ro rolling right and using left rudder. It's a side slip. Yeah. Okay. It allows you to push the nose out of the way. Yep. It's very convenient. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, because you can't see directly underneath you. Yeah, exactly. You can see the smoke is all indicating that there's a bit of a westerly. Yep. Yeah, 
and there's usually always a brickworks or a, a fire somewhere in the trail area that can give you a visual indication of the local uh, wind velocity as long as you know which quadrant it's coming from so yeah. it doesn't look like it's terribly strong no. at that at that height anyway yeah So we're right over the chicken sheds and then we're coming up back to the tadpole lake. Yep. That's not on the map, is it? No, it's area helicopter. Okay. Airborne North Helipod on climb 1500, tracking west. In fact, it is actually. Oh, it's not the one there. by St. Mary's, is it? There. Oh, okay. So wait, where's St. Mary's? Off the nose. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it is that lake. Yeah. This, this used to be a lake here. Okay. See this area here? Ah, uh, I see. I think that's what's, like, it's yeah. bigger on the map than that. Yeah, he blocked up the river. That's what gave him the lake. But then oh, the EPA came around and said, um, block it. Oh, I see. So okay. he lost his lake. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back where we started from. So that's the training area of boundaries. Okay. All right. So as we fly around, when you get to the boundary, it's not critical you're exactly in, but if you sort of see I come over now, but yep. turn, that's fine. It's just a matter of safety keeping within landing, yeah. near landing sites. We think gliding distance yep. of a decent area, yep. that's all. Alright. You can have 772, contact Brisbane Centre 133.0. 133.0, the panel 772. Alright, you can put your map away now. Over. Yep. We'll climb up to 4,000. And the higher you get, the easier your perspective is. You can see it a lot easier now. Yeah, it's true. Is that smell the smoke from those fires? I smell something. Yeah, there is a lot of mist seal that, yeah, all that. Yeah. They are doing a bit of burning off. Victor Echo Bravo, Victor Echo Bravo, City Center. This mist we're in doesn't count as cloud, right? For the purposes of uh, VFR? No, we can still see it over 10 kilometers. All right. And now we're probably down to five kilometers. <laughs> yep, we're getting there, hey. Okay, you can so level up now. So probably want to level up anyway. What? Okay, when you're ready, you can do your hassle checks. Yep. Uh, Killing 40 Delta request. If you do me a favour, go over to the Wollongong Sea TAF, frequency 127 decimal 3. Do I want to turn to get out of this? Victor Echo for Let us go down 100 feet, because it seems to be clearer there. Like, uh, okay, there you go, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, already. Okay, so height sufficient to recover by 3,000. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but this should be enough, right? Yep. Okay. Airframe flaps are up. Canopy is locked. Uh, what does this mean, S plus L cruise for the trim? Straight level cruise configuration. Trim yeah. it for that. All right. We never trim it for a maneuver. Oh, I see. Okay. It's trimmed for straight level. Good. All right. Uh, harness secure. Loose objects. So, uh, temperatures and pressures are green. I want to turn so I don't leave this area, hey. Yep. Uh, fuel pump is on. Mixture rich. Not over a built
Delta yeah, area, so we're going to fly over outside. here. A couple of times on one, two, seven, that's my three, three, I think. Force landing right. fields. Well, there's plenty, yeah, of, plenty of fields around. I don't know, uh, we're not close enough to Camden or St. Mary's to use those. But we have, for example, uh, this paddock here, that one over there. Is that sufficient? All right. Victor Echo. Uh, plan approach. I mean, it's going to be the funnel, right? Yeah. Keep turning to the left. Turning left, passing 1,400 on climb, flight level 150, squawk 1. I'm losing height, though. Pick up above it. Continue U-turn to the left. Sorry? Continue you turning left. Thanks for your help. Contact Melbourne Centre 13. Level off of 3,900. Thank you. Keep turning left. We want to go back to the pipeline. Oh, to the pipeline. All right. Victor Bravo now identified verify level. Victor Bravo uh, passing at 3000. Victor Bravo, thank you. And when we get up to the pipeline, we'll do a loop. because we've got St. Mary's airstrip. In case you have an engine fire. Yep. Okay. Okay. And we can glide there from here probably, right? Yeah, so basically we want to land towards the west because the wind's from the northwest. West. Okay. Um, and one mile kind of downwind is about where that tree line is. Okay. Um, so that, that really wide part of the tree line. So we make a beeline for there and then we can fly our funnel to the left. I see. Okay. That's what the plan approach means, actually pick out one and plan it, so if the engine quits up with real loop, what's it doing? we convert to glide yep. and we go straight there. I see. Four side is better than nine side. Okay. So should I turn along the pipeline? Yep, but don't climb, you're climbing. A useful power. You can check it, Bravo. You can expect the clearance direct to TSAT. You check it, Bravo. Thank you very much. Okay, let's do a loop. Okay. okay, so let's dive it. So put your top dot on the horizon. So bow your nose. Uh, the top dot is on the horizon. <laughs> yeah, well. Alright, yeah. lower your nose, I'll tell you when to stop. Yep. Okay, pull the power out one centimetre, two centimetres, three centimetres, four centimetres. Okay, pulling 4G. Pull harder. Lock it. Power in. We take a bravo contact. Departures on one two nine. Sort of level. Seven. Expect the clearance direct to T set. 129 at ACML, 7 Victor Echo Bravo. Back to neutral. Alright. Oh, okay. Back to, back to screws, I should climb, hey. No, let's do it from this height. Okay. Let's do it number one so we can actually see what we're doing. Alright, that's actually a good idea. Alright, ready? Okay, let's go. So dive it. Out there. One centimeter. Two centimeters. Two centimeters. Four. Pulling 4G. Pull four. Lock it. Power in. Departures morning, November Charlie Alpha is part of the Wait, sort of level, that's better. November Charlie Alpha, g'day, and the flight climb to 5,000, not leaving 3,000, left it in 160. Back to neutral. Alright. I didn't put the power in fast enough, that's why we felt uh, zero G at the top or whatever it was. Alright, let's do a roll. Okay. Uh, full power for that, right? Yep. Alright, so I'm checking. Uh, pull up here. Check, check, roll, roll. Above the horizon, full power. Check, level. Full. Alright, it's still 180 to the right. Okay, uh, with a 45 degree turn? Yep. Okay. So About 45? Yep. Okay, stop your turn there. Let's do a loop and a roll to the right after the loop, okay? Okay, off you go. Full power. Point level, touch the right rudder. Coming off the rudder. Okay. 
Fourth one. One, two, three. three. Pull up. Check. Roll. Check. Pull up. Okay. All right. Let's climb up to 4,000 feet. Okay. Well, we'll try and get uh, 3,900 actually. All right. Pipeline is under us, yeah? Oh, oh, a little to the right, I mean. Yep. Uh, why did you want right rudder during that loop? Because we're slow, we've got slipstream over the top. Okay. Have you probably noticed the ball was out when you stepped on it? Uh, no, I didn't, but I should have. Uh, so, uh, the reason we were slow over the top is because I didn't get 4G at the bottom, is that right? No, it's just the fact that we lose momentum. So okay. we're slow. We've got full power and 50 knots. Same as when we're taking off. Yeah, right. Okay. The stream is most prevalent when you're at low speed, high power. Okay, clear left, centre and right. Now let's turn onto the pipeline. So at the, at the bottom of the loop I was only getting like... Keep turning. I was only getting like 3.5G. Yeah, you only get 4G on the entry. Okay. Yeah, keep the turn going. And level off. Yeah, turn sharper. Oh, we're going that way. Okay, sorry. I thought we were going to turn left. Center Foxtrot, Juliet Foxtrot, passing through 2200 on climb to 4000. Fox Juliet Foxtrot identified, no IFR traffic. Okay, stop the turn there, power to idle. Good morning, can I going to do a falling leaf. Okay, so both hands on the stick. 73072, good day. Foxtrot, Julia Foxtrot, there's numerous uh, aircraft ahead in the training areas. The closest is at 12 o'clock at about 3 miles westbound 2300. Okay, so now we're still go all the way back. Okay, so it's gone left, so left rudder. Right rudder, hold it. Left, hold it. Right, hold it. Left. Right. Left. Right. Centralize. Centralize. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, additional traffic. Uh, rolling your track in your 10 o'clock. 3,300 unverified. Okay. Foxtrot, do you want to climb? Yeah. Or, uh, what we'll do now is we'll reduce the power to 2,300 RPM, lower the nose. Lower the nose to a cruise descent. Okay, post aerobatic check. Echo, engine, temps and pressures are good. You can turn the fuel pump off. Compass and BI, it's an EFA, so it's self-aligning. Orientation, there's the tadpole lake. We've got to be 2,500 by that heading east. Okay. And orientation, we're heading towards Prospect. We can yep. see it. All right, so we're going, we're going, going back. That's the echo check. Next okay. is the applet check or ATIS. So we've got to use 132 next. So swap your yep. frequencies. Dial up the ATIS. Should we take it now? Yeah. Frequency 132, decimal eight. Runway 2 on a left for circuit training. Frequency 1, 2, 3, day, small 6. Runway 2 on a center in use. Double off now. 300 zero, zero degrees, yep. 5 knots. Visibility greater than 1, 0 kilometers. Cloud broken, 4,200. Temperature 1, 4. QH 1, 0, 2, 6. On first contact with Bankstown, tower or ground. Notify receipt of information, Charlie. That has changed. Yep. So it's procedure, 2 nine up. So we've got a whole 1,500 feet till mid downwind. We get a visual approach clearance, landing. Wind's going to be the same as on takeoff. 330 at about 5 knots, so not much. We can do a normal landing. Not much crosswind. Engine's looking good. And all we've got to do is transponder. Um, not yet, not yet, not yet. Is it the railway line? Uh, that's about two miles before prospect. Oh, before prospect. Okay. So it's different than on the way out. Correct. Okay. So we can go down to 1500 feet now. Okay. Bankstown Tower, Charlie Golf Tango. And probably we want, to, we want to put ground on this for later. Yeah. Inbound. Information Charlie. Charlie Golf Tango, Bankstown Tower. Join Crosswind Runway 2 9 right. Maintain 1,500. Join Crosswind Runway 2 9 right. Maintain 1,000. I didn't bark. Charlie Golf Tango. 
Apologies, Tower. Request circuits on arrival. Charlie Golfinger. Uh, Two in together. Zulu, Sarah, Sarah, Clear Visual Approach. I do feel shaken up, though. Clear Visual Approach, West Coast. Yeah. Charlie Golf, Tango, say again. We haven't done it for a while, so yeah. we don't, we don't do too much of it. Yeah, so it's not as bad as I, as I thought it would be, so that's huh. good. Charlie Golf, Tango, change of instruction, join a left downwind for runway 29, a left maintain 1,500. Alright, you can set up the transponder now. Yep. Downwind runway 29, a left maintain 1,500, Charlie Golf, Tango. Charlie Golf, Tango, two miles contact, tower 123, day small 6. Oh, sorry. Right. Delta, sorry uh, so you want to be at 1500 feet on frequency with the transponder at about two miles from the actual turning point of that band now. That way they can see us, but also anyone else who's got TCAS, some of the larger aircraft going yeah. to the bank's tank can see you too, okay. level off. Oh, thank you. It's okay, be quick, sir. Julie Kelly. Thank you, Dada. Disregard the report. Your shop we tried to call. Join report base, Western Pat. Zero, zero, request three clearance for the main. You can see Banks down in your two o'clock, about five, six miles away now. There it is, yeah. And Ward Farms over there. Okay. So we're going to head like basically straight for a mile out from Banks Town and join the downwind there, is that right? Roger, join the report base for the main pad. Join the report base for the main pad. Echo Yankee Delta. So you call, here's going to be Banks Town Tower, Robin India, Romeo November, Prospect 1500, inbound, receive Charlie. Yep. when I'm over the water, right? Yeah, all right. There's Eastern Creek. There's the drag trip. Oh, yeah. Wow. Down tower. Oscar Alpha Zulu is at um, Alpha 8 with Charlie for an upwind departure to 9 right. Okay, so can I just throw up? Oscar Alpha Zulu, Banks Down Tower, runway right, clear for takeoff. Bankstown Tower, that last transmission was over transmitted. Oscar Alpha Zulu. Oscar Alpha Zulu, Roger. Runway right, cleared for takeoff. Runway right, cleared for takeoff, Oscar Alpha Zulu. Bankstown Tower, Robin India Romeo November is inbound at Prospect, 1,500 feet. Uh, receive Charlie. India Romeo November, Bankstown Tower, joined downward runway 29 right, maintain 1,500. Uh, downward runway 29 right, maintain 1,500. India Romeo November. Okay, keep going straight. On the base for a full stop at the main pad. We'll get to the quarry. Sometimes you don't see banks now because of smoke or okay. fog. The quarry is this bit here. Kilo Lima, clear visual yep. approach from a right number one. Okay, so this is the actual reporting point. This is the eastern part of Prospect. Okay, now turn and aim at the aerodrome. Turn on the right for a crossing departure. Julia Zulu, Juliet, banks down, tower on my right, clear for takeoff. On my right, clear for takeoff, Julia Zulu, Juliet. Okay, Yankee Delta main pad cleared lamp. Aim for the middle. Okay, Yankee Delta. There we go. So we're land. doing about 130. Okay. Landing right. checks now, right? No, not yet. Okay. But now you're looking out for traffic. This is a congregation point. Don't be heading down around here. I don't currently see any traffic, but I know he just cleared somebody for takeoff a minute ago. Yeah. You'll be, that's the area that you got to come straight on, because people one? are coming from the north, yeah. Oh, okay, so people are joining downwind from that direction, too. They're coming to Prospect, so... Oh, coming to Prospect, I see. The next point is anyone coming from 2RN, the radio mast, which is over there. Yep. They'll be coming in that sort of they, line. They, okay. At the same height? Yeah. Okay. I don't currently see anybody, do you? No, it's pretty quiet. The radio also confirms it, but yeah. I'll, yeah. Just don't be head down in that particular area. Go. Yeah. Alright, well now you can do your pre-land yeah. checks. My brakes have pressure, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich, fuel pump on, yeah, fuel selection on. Right. Pressure looks oh, good, right. contents, right. morning light, gotta be harness. 1500 feet. We've got no traffic coming from to our red. There's somebody leaving. Yeah. But no one coming. No one coming.
Oh, you can see the runways? Yep. Okay, so parallel them now. Yep. Am I about a mile out? Yeah, about there. Okay. Good. Stop the turn. I would have said I'm more than a mile. Okay. We're about 1.5 miles. But I want to join at one mile, don't I? We will, trust me. Okay. Oh, because of the wind? Well, we're joining the one. We'll be one mile from the runway when we get over here. Okay. Oh, because we're still closing, yeah. Yep. And at that point, I do the downwind call? Yeah, when you get on the downwind. I'll tell you okay. what, there's traffic there. He's going north, I believe. Yeah. See, that's the 1,000 foot set, the 1,500 foot separation standard. I see. Okay. <laughs> it still feels a little bit close. <laughs> uh, that's 500 feet, that's yeah. plenty. Thanks, Anne Tower, Cessna 152, Foxtrot, Mike India at holding point, Alpha 84, runway 29 right, ready for an upwind departure. Should I do the downwind call when this guy's done? Yeah, turn left a little bit. Tower, runway right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, Foxtrot, Mike India. Right, I'm good, okay. And thanks, Anne Tower, uh, it's it's yep. email, Frostbit with information Charlie, uh, 1500. And Liam X-ray Quebec. Thanks, Dan Tower. Join downwind to my two nine right. Maintain one thousand five hundred. Liam X-ray Quebec. Copy that. Uh, maintaining one thousand five hundred, and we'll be joining downwind for runway two nine right. India Romeo November is downwind runway two nine right for a full stop. India Romeo November. Clear visual approach from my right number one. Clear visual approach from my right number one. India Romeo November. So I want to descend now. So I want to set up. When do I set up the slow speed? Idle. Idle, okay. Turn left, you're, you're going towards the runway because you're looking at it. Yep. See so that cricket pitch? Yes. Aim for the middle of it. That's so a downwind point for this runway. Okay. Otherwise you'll cut off your base. Okay. So I want to go to 1000, hold my height, and then go into slow speed configuration. Pretty much. Okay. I can get flaps now. No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Actually, level off for the minute. Yeah. So back to 2500 RPM. We haven't got our cord yet. Okay, now look back. Okay, now I got a cord. Okay, now turn. Turn. I'm gonna go idle, get it into the flap range. Reset it 15 at 85. 1500 RPM. You know the rest from here. Yep. For 85. Power. Romeo November, runway right, cleared land. Cleared the land, runway right, Indian November, Romeo November. Start the brake smoothly. Brake harder. Turn left. Um, on Alpha to Alpha 8, hold your around my right. Mark my king. Uh, transponder. Ground India Romeo November is clear of runway right. Request taxi to parking at November. India Romeo November, taxi park. Taxi to parking, India Romeo November. Yeah, 
she sounds like a chipmunk. <laughs> Chipper. I came in high on that, didn't I? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. And therefore too fast. We had tailwind component on final. Yeah. Okay. You could see on base we were drifting in. Yep. So I should have backed the power off and aimed short. Is that right? Pretty much. When you were turning on the final, you had 90 and it was increasing. And yeah. You, you should have backed the power off before you lowered the flap. Okay. Because uh, if it's trending upwards, fix that first. Yep. Then go for your flap. Okay. But you can see what I mean. You got to do everything you were practicing previously. Yeah. On just that half of the circuit. You yeah. Gotta assess it's the wind. Pretty, pretty fast. Yeah. You yeah. got to assess the wind. You got to do all your turning Grand points. Warrior. You got to not cramp Keep yourself as Lima, you were tending to do. Sorry, Airways not do what? Cramping yourself. Flight. Cramping. You're looking at the runway and turning oh, towards. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Conscious level. Yeah. India Papa Delta. No, just to confirm, like that doesn't work out well. I I can go around, right? Yeah. Okay. You're the pilot Sorry, when you're on your own. Good. Once I go around, it's, it's, the, it's the usual. Go around. Go around and it's the usual circuit then. Yeah. Okay. If you're not happy for any reason or looks flaky, yep. go around. Go around. All right. It's no different to the training circuit. Okay. You, you call, go around, you go around. Yeah. yeah. All right. You do it and you do another downwind call just like normal. Yep. Okay. Now, unlike the regular circuit, you have people joining from your know, aircraft coming yep. towards, so we'll go to the right. You have people joining from Prospect. Um, are, do they? If you have to go around, like, will they sequence the entry for you, like from 1500? Um, usually, they'll say to you when you call down, when they'll say you're number two to a Cessna on base, for okay. example. All right. So they'll be exactly the same. Less than bad. Uh, request. And yes, they all go wide on base too, even okay. when they're arriving. Okay. Yeah, you know, Alpha Taxi Echo Kilo, hold short the main path. Taxi Echo Kilo, hold short the main path. Sierra Uniform Alpha. Uh, India Papa Delta Ground. India Papa Delta Ground, go ahead. India Papa Delta, are you after the plan that leaves here at 2315? Uh, sorry, can you say that again? India Papa Delta? In Papa Delta, I've got a plan here scheduled for departure at 2315. Uh, the outbound altitude is only 1,500 feet, and that's part of the class golf. Uh, can we amend that to 65 available in India Papa Delta? In Papa Delta, I have a chat to Sydney and do what I can do. I won't get 6,500 visual, that's for sure. No. Oh, Pete and Cass have decided. Pete and I should say Misty have decided to go flying. Hooray! <laughs> Was that in question? Oh, they went to get coffee and all the rest of it, so they were in a very casual way. I see. Probably debating because of all the fox bats in the circuit, because that's what she's doing. Oh, she's doing circuits but in, in the pits. pits, it's much the pits, harder. Yeah. You got no flaps. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you can't see. That does seem like a problem. <laughs> On the back, you got really bad vision. Faster than everyone else. By a long shot. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, parking brake is on. Lights and Peter switches off. Avionics off. Name is Lena Vemba, sir. I just aligned with. Dead cut. <laughs> 